Ionization. We now know what alpha, beta and gamma actually are, but it still took years to understand that they were dangerous and why. The reason why is because they can all ionize neutral atoms. So what is ionization? Well, it's turning a neutral atom into an ion or a charged atom. And the way radiation does this is by knocking electrons out of an atom. So, alpha, beta and gamma can all do this, but it turns out that alpha does it easiest, followed by beta, with gamma being the worst. Now let's see why. First, let's look at alpha. We should remember that an alpha particle is like a helium nucleus, and therefore it has a charge of plus 2. An electron has a charge of minus 1, and we know that opposites attract. So as the alpha goes past the atom, it doesn't need to touch the electron to knock it out. As long as it gets close enough that its electromagnetic attraction can pull on the electron, it can pull it out of the atom. So let's draw a line on the diagram showing how close an alpha needs to be to cause ionization. Now let's look at beta. We should remember that beta is an electron. Same charge as the electron that it wants to knock out. So, we know that like charges repel or push each other. So the beta is going to repel the electron in the atom. Now, it's only got a minus one charge compared to the alpha's plus two. So it needs to get much closer for its electromagnetic field to push on the electron. Also, a beta is much, much smaller than an alpha particle, so it has that disadvantage as well. Hence, it must get much closer to the electron to cause ionization. Let's leave a line on the diagram for how close the beta needs to get to cause ionization. Finally, we have gamma. Now, we should remember that gamma is an electromagnetic wave, and so has no charge. Because of this, it has to score a direct hit with a tiny electron to cause ionization. And hence it won't cause ionizations as often as alpha and beta. So let's recap. Alpha is the best at ionizing because it's big and it has a large positive charge so it can cause ionization even when it's quite far from an atom. Beta is the next best as it's small it's got a negative charge, so it needs to be fairly close to an atom to cause ionization. And finally, we have gamma. And this is the worst at ionizing because it needs to directly hit an outer electron in an atom to cause ionization. It's very important you learn how good alpha, beta, and gamma are at causing ionization, as it's very important in the rest of the radioactivity topic.